A very warm welcome to all. Today, I, Ria Khanna, a legal intern under Lexis and Company, am here to explain my topic, Registration of Trade Union in India. So this particular video is the part two of this topic. Let us, before moving on with the part two video, let us first revise what we understood in part one. So in the previous video, I explained that although the Trade Union Act was passed in 1926, but it was enforced from 1st June 1927. And uh, I also explained the objects of the act. So some of the objects are to relieve the trade union from some civil and criminal liabilities to provide for the system of voluntary registration of trade union for adopting adequate rules and keeping an audit of proper accounts and filling annual returns. Further, I explained, I gave the definition of the act. So the Trade Union Act, Section 2, Clause H, states that trade union can be, uh, the trade union means any combination, whether temporary or permanent, and it should be made for the purpose of regulating relations between workmen, employers, workmen and workmen, or employers and employers. Further, I explained section three, uh, section section three, that is the um, uh, appointment of registrar. Then I explained section four, mode of registration, and then section five, mode of the application of registration, and section six, provisions which are to be contained in the rules of the trade union. Now, let's move forward with section seven. So section seven states the power to call for further particulars and to require alternation, alteration of the name. So section seven states that the power to ask for further information to satisfy himself can be asked, uh, power to ask change of name of the trade union and the union with the same name or devising or confusing to public matter as well. Section eight states for the registration, where it says that satisfaction of all requirements which are necessary for registration. And mandatory to and it is mandatory for the registrar to register the trade union if the union satisfies all the technical requirements. Then section Section 10 states for the certificate of registration, where the registrar issues the certificate of the registration in the prescribed form, and it is a conclusive evidence too. Then the next section is the cancellation of registrar registration. So the registrar has a power to cancel the trade union registration under the following conditions. Number one, application of the trade union. Number two, registration obtained by fraud or mistake. And number three, if the trade union ceases to exist. Number four, if the trade union will fully contravene or allow any rule to continue after notice given by the registrar. Number five, rescinds any rule providing for any matter. And number six, the workmen of trade union cease to have the requisite number of members. Now, let's talk about case laws. So the first case law that we will, shall be discussing is M.T. Chandrasan versus Sukhmaran, All India Record, 1974. In this particular case, the Supreme Court held that if a member fails to pay subscription fee, he cannot be considered a member of the trade union. However, subscriptions cannot be refused under some pretext, which results in the denial of the membership. The next and the last case law that we are going to talk about is the Bokanjan Cement Corporation Employees Union versus Cement Corporation of India 2004. In this particular case, the Supreme Court held that the membership of the union does not automatically seize upon termination of the employment. So let's continue include this particular topic by saying that the Trade Union Act provides for the registration of the trade union. Chapter 2 of the Act provides for registration of trade union and Section 3 to Section 6 gives details about it. Appropriate government appoints the registrar for each state to make the registration of trade union and the union must have to fulfill all the requirements which are necessary for the registration. Otherwise, it is rejected by the registrar. 
section 7 to section 10 is related to registration certificate of registration and cancellation of certificate of the trade union thank you so much that's all